it's me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I am kind of Disney bounding as Minnie Mouse today, which is very, very fitting because today's video is another Disney pin unboxing review slash haul. And I am very, very excited about it because I have not done one of these in quite some time. I'm also very, very excited to announce that today's video is in partnership with Poshmark. Poshmark is an app that I have recently become obsessed with. If you guys are unfamiliar with Poshmark, I'm going to leave a link in the top of the description below. They are basically a very chic shopping closet. So there are two things that you can do on Poshmark. You can create your very own closet and put up things you want to sell to other people for a discounted price. They could be brand new items or slightly used items. You can put up apparel, bags, shoes, jewelry, etc. Pretty much anything that your little heart desires you can put up on Poshmark or you could be a consumer and you can go on and search for things that you really, really want and you are most likely going to find them at very, very discounted prices. So I'm going to again leave the link in the description below if you guys are interested in checking them out. You just have to download the link, it'll bring you to the app and you just create your own closet and then you can start shopping or start selling. So I am going to be updating my Poshmark closet when I am done filming this video. I did my first closet opening the other day and everything sold out literally within like an hour. It was very overwhelming in the best way. So I want to put some more items up for you guys to see if you guys are interested. Pretty much everything in my closet right now is Disney related. I have Disney apparel, I have Minnie Mouse ears, I have Disney jewelry, I have Disney bags, and I'm going to add up some Disney pins after this video. So once I upload this video, once it goes live, I'm going to go onto my Poshmark and add a bunch of my Disney pins, more Minnie Mouse ears, maybe some more clothes, etc. So if that is something you guys are interested in, my Poshmark closet is called Miss Allie Marie. I'll put it right here and I will also again put it in the description. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, just ask me in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get unboxing. So to use Poshmark, it is very, very simple. You just open up the app and then you type in the person's name that you are trying to find the closet of on the search bar. If you don't know the person's name or you're just looking for something specific in the search bar, you can just write that specific thing. Here is my closet. I have a bunch of my Disney apparel on here, like I had mentioned. I have some bags, I have some hats, I have some ears. I'm gonna be putting up some jewelry and I'm gonna be putting up some pins as well. I also have some other non-Disney items on there if that is what you are interested in so this is my specific closet but again if you don't want to look at my closet you can just go to the search bar and type in exactly what you were looking for whether it is a Louis bag whether it is a pair of sneakers whatever you want you can find it on Poshmark Something else important to know about Poshmark, you get charged a flat rate of $6.95 to ship out your items. So I highly, highly suggest bundling your items, finding a bunch of items that you like, bundling them together, and then purchasing it from that specific closet because you will still only get charged the $6.95. If you guys create an account and then you refer friends, you get a $5 credit on your account when that person purchases their very first item. Let's get started. The very first pack that I'm going to be opening up in this video is the Disney Handbag Collectible Pin Pack. Each pack contains five randomly selected pins. So this pack is themed around pocketbooks. All of the characters, all the princesses, or all of the villains are transformed into pocketbooks and I think that that is super, super clever. If I had a choice, I would want Minnie Mouse, I would want Aurora, Rapunzel's is beautiful, Maleficent would be so much fun to get, Jasmine, Ariel, Ursula who is my very favorite villain, Snow White's is beautiful as well, Belle, my main girl. Pretty much any of these I'm going to be happy with. I've never opened up this pack before so everything that I get is going to be brand new and I'm most likely going to be very very excited about all of them. So let's open on up the very first pin that I am pulling out. I miss doing this so much. 
I got Ursula for my first one. Stop it. Oh my god, this is probably the one that I wanted the most. I am so obsessed with Ursula. The quality of these are really, really nice. I almost just dropped them all trying to fix my hair. I am so happy about this. Okay, number one was a huge success. Number two, Snow White. I love it. So, fun fact, in June, I'm going to be cutting my hair just a little bit longer than the length of Snow White. I'm going to be donating my hair. So, look at how long my hair is right now. In June, my hair is going to be just a little bit longer than Snow White's, and I am so pumped about it. This one is beautiful. The quality of these are so so nice. I found this pack on eBay. <sighs> Guys, literally what is happening? I just got Belle. I got my favorite princess in this pack and I got my favorite villain. Like life goals absolutely, absolutely made right now. It's so pretty. <sighs> oh, I could stare at this one all day. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's move on. Two more. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought that this was Marie, and it's not Marie, it's actually Mary Poppins. I only know that because of the little like bird, I don't exactly know what it is. I haven't watched Mary Poppins in so, so long, but I see that right in the center, and I know that that's kind of like her style icon, or like her emblem, or something that represents Mary Poppins. This one's really pretty. I'm getting such good ones. This is an awesome pack. Last one, final pin. Am I gonna be happy about it? It's Minnie Mouse! What is happening? This is the best pack, literally, that I've ever opened up. I'm gonna give you a close-up of all the pins right now, but oh my god, this was awesome. Epic success. That pack was everything. That is probably the most success that I've ever seen in one of my Disney pin unboxing review hauls before. Literally blown away by that pack. We are going to move on now to a booster set. This is an eBay lot and I've done these once before. If you guys are unfamiliar with the eBay lots, I will link some information in the description below. Basically, you can go onto eBay and you can buy like booster lots or pin bag lots or pin box lots and you get them dirt cheap. I'm pretty sure a booster set in Disney World or in Disneyland is upwards of like $20 or more. I think I got five booster sets for $50 or it might have been $40. Again, I will put it in the description below. So cheap. That is $10 or less per booster set and each booster set has at least four, sometimes six or seven pins. So you cannot beat that deal. Again, I have done one of these before, so I can only hope that I don't get booster sets that I already own, but let's find out together. The very first booster set that I am pulling out is one that I don't have. Oh my gosh, so this is the Tsum Tsum. I think that this is Hollywood Tower of Terror themed. I'm, pr it is, oh my god, we're getting Tsum Tsums in the form of Tower of Terror employees. This is incredible. Tower of Terror is my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios, and we're getting six pins. This one says on the back, retails for $30. So this booster pack alone, $30. And I only paid $40 or $50. Again, the price will be in the description. So we're getting Minnie, we're getting Mickey, we're getting Goofy, we're getting Pete, we're getting Donald, and we're getting Daisy, and they're in the form of Tower of Terror employees. I love this. Okay, so that is the first booster set. The next one that I am getting is another one that I didn't get before. These are two brand new ones, and these are cats. So it doesn't say the price on the back of this one. It does have six pins. So I'm going to assume at least $25 or maybe even $30 as well. We're getting Cheshire Cat. We're getting the Siamese Cats. We're getting Marie. And then we're getting a couple of cats that I forgot the name. I'm definitely going to keep a couple of these. And some of the other ones I might put up on my Poshmark or I might just keep for trading. So very, very happy with this one. Next up, there are two more. So I only got four in this pack. 
It says cool characters. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins in this one. This one also retails for $30 seven pins. So I'm getting Mickey, Minnie, Donald, I'm getting Goofy, Daisy, Chip, and Dale, and they all look like they're in the beach, or at the beach, excuse me. This is so cute. Look at the little Chip and Dale ones, they're like this big. They're like the tiniest pins I have ever seen, which is so, so cute. So, so far, three out of the four booster sets I have not received before. Let's hope the very last one is a set that I haven't received before, before turning it around. It retails at $30, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six pins. Three, two, one. Oh, yay, Star Wars. So if you guys watch my channel, I've never watched stars before. I have nothing against it. I've just never watched it, and I really need to get on that train because since Disney purchased Star Wars, it has been a goal of mine to watch all the movies. I just haven't had that much time to do that, and it is, it's kind of, it's pending, guys. It's coming, but this is Star Wars Snowflakes, which is actually really cool. So if you're into Star Wars, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna make a fool of myself right now and I'm gonna try to name some of these characters. I'm pretty sure this snowflake is made out of a stormtrooper. I apologize if that's wrong. Darth Vader, another stormtrooper, R2-D2, Yoda, and then the gold guy. I'm gonna try to remember his name, not R2-D2, C-3PO? And last but not least, another eBay pin lot. As you guys can tell, I'm utterly obsessed with these eBay pin lots. This one is a pin box lot. So I think I'm getting one, two, three, four, five boxes in here. It has been a while since I ordered this, so I'll put it again in the description below, the price and how many boxes I'm going to be getting enough talking let's rip this open and see what i am getting i pretty much have opened up every single disney pin box in existence between like 2016 i just dropped it on the floor to 2018 present day so pretty much every single one on the market right now i've already opened up so these pin lots are a really fun way to keep the mystery going i don't know exactly what i'm going to be getting and maybe when i open some of them up i'll get maybe like at least one or two that i don't own already the mystery pin lots are just a great way to kind of like keep the mystery going brb I'm back. So the very first one that I am pulling out, <gasps> yes, this is one of the ones that I wanted. Okay, this is the Digital Disney Mystery Collection. I have every single one of these except for Goofy. I need Goofy. I want Goofy. I already have Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, Chip, Dale, and Pluto. I just need Goofy. So if I can get Goofy in this pack, I will be so, so happy. This is what the pack looks like. Let's see if it will focus. And this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure if it is focusing. If not, when I link them in the description below, you can see the actual front and back of these boxes. Let's open on up and see what I'm getting. So they are individually bagged. They come inside of these little black baggies. I'm gonna feel around. This one definitely doesn't feel like goofy. This one doesn't feel like goofy, but that's okay, because I already knew going into this that I was going to get pins that I already have. So the first one that I'm getting is Pluto. I'll put this one on my Poshmark closet. It's so cute. I love this one so much. It reminds me of Jax, but I already have it. Come on, guys. Goofy, goofy, goofy. It's Donald. Another one that I really, really love. They're so cute. I knew I was going to get repeats. I just need Goofy now. Eventually, I'm gonna get Goofy. <laughs> Next up, <gasps> I 
The Adventures Out There Mystery Collection. This is one of my favorite boxes ever. I've opened this one up twice before and I got Pinocchio, I got Jiminy Cricket, and I think I got Simba? I don't remember, honestly. I gave a couple of these away in a previous giveaway, so I'd be really happy with any of these right now. I really want Mickey Mouse, I really want Rapunzel, I want Rapunzel the most out of all of these. This is really cool because again, I've only opened this one up like once or maybe twice before. So as long as I don't get one that I've already opened, All right, looking at this, I feel like I already opened this one before, so I might already have Cheshire Cat, but if I don't have Cheshire Cat, this one will be at the top of the list of the ones that I want because obviously I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. So this is a huge score. I love how they have glitter in the actual parachute or in the actual hot air balloon. So pretty. And the quality is really, really nice as well. All right, second one. I'm getting Simba. I don't know if I have this one, but looking at it right now, I feel like I don't have this one. And I love how they have like the little, what is it called? When Rafiki draws Simba in like the stone and he uses kind of like that dust, whatever it is. This one's really, really pretty. And I don't think that I have it. I don't think that I have either of these. And that's pretty incredible. So I don't know about you, but I feel like this video has been a massive, massive success so far. I have three boxes left. Let's pull the very next box out. And I am getting Seven Dwarfs Mystery Collection. So I have opened this one up previously. I only opened it once and I don't even remember which pin I got because I included it in a previous giveaway. So no matter what I get in this box as well, was going to be new. I didn't end up keeping any of these, so again, anything that I pull out right now is going to be new. Of course, if I had to pick one of them, I would choose Sleepy because me, or I would choose Dopey because also me. So if I could get one of those two, that would be really cool. If not, anything that I get, I'm dropping everything in this video. I am literally the worst YouTuber ever. So I am getting, oh, I'm getting, I think this is Doc. He's very studious. I think this is Doc. I'm pretty sure this is Doc. That's really, really cool. And I love how all of like the gemstones are different colors and they're kind of like a prism, prim, prism, prism, prism look. Prism look, prism look. They're really pretty. Just put it that way. Two boxes left to open up in this video, and the second to last box is making my heart so very happy. It is the Alice in Wonderland Mystery Pin Collection box. Now, I have every single pin in this collection except for one. I have the white rabbit, but I'm missing the rabbit. I don't know the name that is holding the tea kettle and pouring the tea into the teacup. So if I can get that pin, that would be awesome. If not, no big deal. I've had so much success with this video so far that even if I don't get that pin, not a big deal. So the very first pin that I am pulling out is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I already have this one. So maybe I'll try to compile like an Alice in Wonderland theme and put a bunch of pins and put these on my Poshmark. If not, I'm just going to keep it and trade it out in the near future. So I got Tweedledee and Tweedledum for the first one. Dun, da, da, dun. I'm getting the Mad Hatter. I was so cute. I saw the teacup and I was like, no freaking way am I going to get that pin to complete the collection. I did not. I got the Mad Hatter, who I love. I love this pin, but I already have it. And last but not least, the final pin box in this video. Shut the front door. 
I've never opened up this box before. What the heck? I'm getting a pin box that I've never opened up before. It is the Disney Princess Mystery Collection and it has all the princesses on the back. And then underneath each princess, it has a saying like Rapunzel says courage, Belle says strong, Cinderella says wish, Snow White says kind, and so on and so forth. I've actually gotten a couple of these pins from you guys. You guys have sent a couple of them to my P.O. box, but I've never purchased this box on my own. So this is the perfect box to end this video with. I'm like kind of floored right now. Can't believe that I got a box that I've never opened up before. I think the only one that I have is Ariel and Tiana. Ariel says believe and Tiana says dream. So I got those two from one of you lovely subscribers. But besides that, I don't have any of these pins. Watch me get Ariel and Tiana in this box. I wouldn't be surprised. This is so cool. This is like a perfect way to end the video. So the first one that I am pulling out is Snow White. And it says kind on it. The quality is so good. Oh my God, the quality is really, really good. I love, okay, first one, really awesome. Second one, getting Cinderella, which has very rapidly become one of my top five favorite princesses. So this is really awesome. I'm really, really happy right now. <laughs> And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much again to Poshmark for partnering up with me on this video. I had so much fun, a little too much fun filming. I absolutely love all things Disney pins. And I think that you guys do as well. And that just, it really warms my heart. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys.